Hey everybody, welcome to the Channel 3 Summer Escape Special. We're here on the shoreline in beautiful Mystic, Connecticut. I'm Mike Slifer. And I'm Caitlin Francis. Today we're going to take you on trips all across the area. Of course, we have to start right here in Connecticut with a staycation that feels like a total escape. And we'll begin at Foxwoods. We know Foxwoods has great restaurants, there's music, and of course, there's shopping and gambling. Yeah, but it's a lot more than just games. There's also tons of activities. We had to check it out for ourselves. There is so much stuff to do here at Foxwoods. Lots of fun and exciting things, including High Flyer. It's right behind me, the zip line, which starts at the top, all the way at the top of Fox Tower, which you can see right behind me, and then ends here at the base. So, let's see what it looks like. You ready? We recruited our friends Anissa and Kristen to head to New Heights. They went to the top of Fox Tower, that's 33 stories up, to clip in and fly above the treetops on High Flyer, the longest zip line in Connecticut. <laughs> Three, two, one, have fun guys. This is the sixth season High Flyer is open, and I think they had a blast. We just came inside from High Flyer, that zip line that took you from Fox Tower to the museum. Well, if you're looking for some more adrenaline, we've got it for you here at Foxwoods. Back inside Fox Tower, Monza World Class Karting, the track right next to us. Then you can head behind us, get a drink, grab some food, and doesn't stop there. Excitement, axe throwing. Doesn't get any better than that. All the fun right here at Foxwoods. Don't take my word for it. Anissa and Kristen are back for more fun after the high flyer. They tried their hand at axe throwing. In the office. Yeah! And then started their engines on the track. Check this out. offers advanced battery-powered carts on a multi-level track. The temps aren't the only thing scorching this summer. Okay, we did the high flyer. We went to Monza. Now, if you want to end your evening here at Top Ball Swing Suite, that's the place to be because not only are there fun games for everybody, great for date night, friends, family, what have you, but there's also tons of food and drinks. So, you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. So many games. Wings? Yes. So obviously it's a party. Yeah. It's a party. Is this all for me? <laughs> so much fun. Summer at Foxwoods does not disappoint. Okay, so didn't that look like a lot of fun? Oh, it looks like a blast. Everyone definitely had a blast, and that's exactly what you want on a summer getaway. But if that's not your thing, maybe you're not an adrenaline junkie, there's still so much to do at Foxwoods, including resting, relaxing, recharging. We'll have all that coming up. And now to the great outdoors. The Thousand Islands is a sightseer's paradise located along the northern New York border. All right, here's a look at the endless shorelines, rich history, and unique culture. It starts with an inspiring sunrise on the St. Lawrence River and ends with a breathtaking sunset over Lake Ontario. It includes views of storybook castles, a great fish story, a taste of craft beverages, and a trip back in time. On the pristine waters or in quiet villages, there are thousands of things to see and do in the Thousand Islands. There is no better way to unplug and reconnect as a family than spending some quality time together. 
Alexandria Bay caters to the young and the young at heart and is a great home base for your team. Centrally located, this small riverfront community is the quintessential visitor town with hotels and B&Bs to fit any budget, with food options from the great to the easy, and specialty shops from nautical retail to distilleries and art galleries. Head to the docks and be part of the boater culture or stop in for a drink to catch live music. Bolt Castle on Hart Island in Alexandria Bay is the region's top attraction. Its six stories and 120 rooms tell the tale of a tragic love story, leaving visitors in awe. Singer Castle in Chippewa Bay is a four-story castle open daily for guided tours and even has a suite for private overnights. At Uncle Sam Boat Tours, kids get to take a turn at the wheel and receive a certificate, making them a St. Lawrence River captain. Prefer a deeper look? The glass bottom tour from Clayton Island Tours lets passengers peer down at a shipwreck, see scenes beneath the water, and even includes a stop at the Rock Island Lighthouse. Scenic Clayton, New York is truly one of New York's most beautiful communities. Clayton offers places to stay, dine, and play all summer long and is home to the Antique Boat Museum, where the whole family can ride the river on an antique speedboat or try their hand at sailing a real St. Lawrence skiff. Don't worry, instructors provided. On the shores of Lake Ontario is historic Sackets Harbor, New York, almost too picturesque to be real, with some of the best dining options in the region. Near long, sandy beaches and dunes at two state parks, Sackets Harbor is your stop for fun on the farm at Old McDonald's Farm, featuring more than 1,000 animals, a petting zoo, and farm tours. Head downtown to the Sackets Harbor Battlefield, where the whole family is immersed in history at the Navy Yard. Head toward the village of Cape Vincent, New York, where Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River meet, to enjoy local brews and wine before walking along the water in a quieter section of the region. Drive, walk, or pedal to Tibbetts Point Lighthouse to get an up-close look at a real lighthouse. If you're feeling adventurous, charter a guided fishing trip or line up for Horns Ferry to Wolf Island in Canada and get a taste of island life. Easily located just off Interstate 81 is Watertown, New York. Easy access to water-based fun like whitewater rafting and tube floating down the Black River, an underrated New York whitewater playground with class three and four waves. Hook up with one of the rafting guides to try this hidden gem. Stop by Zoo New York, the only zoo dedicated to animals of New York State, perched in the historically significant Thompson Park. The Thousand Islands, a region of endless shorelines, rich history, and unique culture. A sightseer's paradise and a popular destination for those looking for an authentic outdoor vacation. Coming up, we're traveling back in time without going too far. We'll take you on a tour of Old Sturbridge Village next.